uh, when you get introduced is when you're ready. So you're just the speaker. Okay, so we're ready to record? Mm -hmm. And ready with the timer? Okay. Uh, first speaker today is going to be Mr. Ronell. <laughs> Now that is the sound that I remember last hearing before waking up in the hospital, paralyzed. So then I ask you, does that define me? I mean, does this wheelchair define who I am? I like to think not. But if this wheelchair is not who I am, then who am I? I am Ronell Deshaun Davis and I am an artist. I am. Ronell Deshaun Davis, and I am a multilingual black man. I am Ronell Deshaun Davis, and I am an engineer in training. Now, if you look past what your eyes initially show you, wonderful things about people can be found. Things to me that are blessings that I am very thankful for. And one of those blessings is that I can draw. I mean, ever since I was a little bitty boy, I was able to take what I feel or take what I see and draw it exactly as I saw it or exactly as I felt it. And now I'm able to take that and develop it and draw something like this, lifelike portraits. And when I draw like this, I get a deep sensation of satisfaction. I mean, when I draw, sometimes I'll be deep into a drawing and then I'll, I'll stop and I'll think to myself, wow, I appreciate this so much to even have this much of creativity in me. Because sometimes creativity allows me to take a situation like being able to speak another language and twist it and make it easy for me. I mean, it started out as high school French and it was hard. It was really hard. I almost quit. But then my mind was able to take what the teachers were telling me and, and twist it and, and say, look at it this way. And it came easy. So I loved it. I loved French and I studied it for four more years. And now I'm here doing the same exact thing, using the same exact creative technique to conquer Spanish. And I've done just about that. I've taken every single class they have had here except for one. But I love it. I've always loved Spanish. I've always wanted to learn Spanish ever since I was a little bitty boy. But even more than that, as a little boy, I wanted nothing more than to be an engineer. I mean, it fascinated me to open up my mom's grandfather clock and see all the little tinkering going on in there. I was able to open up a VCR and play it and see how all the little trinkets worked inside of there. And I wanted to know, how does that work? And now, as an adult here, to be able to study as an engineer, to me it's like the beginning of a sweet dream lived out now. I mean to be able to take math and science and to use it to, to build, to create, to make things like machines, computers. I mean all these little gadgets started coming out now. Somebody is engineering that and I want in. I mean I probably don't look like the engineering type. I don't look like I probably can speak Spanish, but yo puedo hablar español muy, muy bien. I probably don't look like I can speak anybody's French, but je tout le français pour toi, quatre on est, moi, moi le mon. I probably don't look like I'm artist, but if you take the time to look past what your eyes show you initially, wonderful things about people can be found, and I encourage you to take what I call your sight beyond sight, and let's see what we can see. Thank you.